Welcome back. For those of you new to my channel, I am a certified wildlife biologist. Uh, this story might seem not uh, accurate uh, if you're not familiar with uh, working with deer and ungulates, uh, as I have worked with hundreds of them. Uh, unfortunately for today's wildlife news, we're going to head over to Ohio, where a woman who has rescued many deer in the past was killed and mauled and by one of her deer that she recently rescued. Uh, sad, the 64-year-old grandma was rehabilitating the deer on November 15th. She was trapped inside the enclosure with the buck, and it snapped and then mauled her. Um, the deputies had to kill the deer uh, on the scene. I know you're thinking, deer? They're just Bambi. Uh, nibble grass, right? Well, actually, no. Uh, here's a bone-chilling truth. In the United States, statistically, they are one of the most lethal wild animals we have. Not because of their stalking people like wolves, but because deer and vehicle collisions. Each year, roughly 440 Americans are killed, and some 59,000 are injured in crashes, vehicle crashes with deer. It said direct attacks like this grandma's death are extremely rare. Deer generally don't see us as prey, but when the buck is stressed in a pen or in rut or corner, they can lash out. So most deer-related deaths happen because of car crashes, not the antlers. Um, bucks during mating season can be stressed out, unpredictable, potentially dangerous. So what can we learn from this? No matter how much you love wildlife, wildlife animals, they're still wild. How cute they are. Rehabilitation rescue work can carry a serious risk, even to folks who are experienced. If you ever think about rescuing a wild animal, especially a full-grown buck, maybe think twice. Respect the wilderness. Um, rest in peace, that brave grandma. May this tragedy story remind us. Wildlife deserves empathy and respect from a safe distance. If you like these weird wildlife stories and you want more biology related from someone who actually reads the data, hit the button. Follow and you'll see you in the woods with my binoculars. Not an antler.